Hi, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Sight Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on the world famous Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River, Cocoa Beach, Daytona, New Smyrna, Titusville. And today um, I'm going to do a quick video here. I've been asked here quite a few times um, if I could do a video over lure color selection for redfish trout black drum. So this isn't the lure to use. This is, we're just going to talk about lure color here. Uh, this is going to be a really easy thing to go over and you're going to take this logic and you're going to apply it to where you're at. The first thing that you want to say to yourself or that I want to say is I'm going to talk specifically about redfish, trout, and drum here in Florida. Uh, so if the species exist other places, I don't know what they're feeding on there. I know here they feed on primarily crustacean, shrimp, crab, um, mullet, pinfish, baitfish, you know, if you cut up ladyfish, whatever. So we're going to talk about what our bait and uh, lures look like here in this area and then you could pretty much apply that information to wherever you're at. So with this said, um, let's take for example these fish here feed on mullet, crab, shrimp mostly on the Mosquito Lagoon and Indian River up here in East Central Florida. Uh, you know this typically would imitate a mullet. This would typically imitate a mullet, the DOA bait buster. That's a DOA airhead. Little mullet there obviously crab patterns, mullet pattern. Now, if you look at these, the main thing is you're saying, wow, he's got a lot of very basic colors here. Black and white, black and white. Well, think about it. Over the years, I've said to myself, I don't need all these fancy colored lures. I don't need to use this stuff. I'm gonna use natural colors. If I look at these, these bait and animals in the wild, and I say to myself, well, let's see, mullet are black on the top, white on the bottom. Pinfish, you know, light on the top, white on the bottom. Pigfish, a lot of them are dark on the top, whitish on the bottom. Crabs, blue crab, blue on the top, gray on the top, white on the bottom. Uh, fiddler crabs, dark on the top, white on the bottom. Shrimp, eh, they're kind of clear, but some of them are whitish on the bottom. Uh, uh, little bait fish, pinfish, needlefish, ladyfish, uh, dark on the top, white on the bottom. Redfish, dark on the top, white on the bottom. Trout, dark on the top, white on the bottom. Black drum, eh, they're dark all over, but typically I think you understand what I'm saying here. These fish, when they see like a lighter colored lure, they're going to associate it with what they're eating. Now, the other plus side that I use a lot of these colors like this, this bread and white DOA airhead right here, this color is one of my favorite to use. You'll see a lot of my videos and I'm using the the red and the white combo. For one thing, when I'm casting that color, or my clientele's casting these colors to these fish, two things happen. I can see where the lure is at in the water. If it's clear water, dark water, murky water, and two, they can see where it's at in relative position to the fish's mouth. So when you're sight fishing and you're throwing a lure like this in dark water it helps you see it the fish can see it versus I see a lot of people saying well dark water throw dark lures um, clear or clean water throw clear lures well, that's all fine and dandy if you want to do that but it makes it a struggle for you to see where that lure is at in relative position to the fish's mouth so I don't know that's just my belief um, it's worked for me uh, it, it makes sense um, there's times that you're out there and uh, you know, you could use any color you want, and I'm sure it's going to work. But you start using it as a tool, and to make your your the experience better and improve your catch ratio, uh, you know, it'll start changing the way you look at things like that. So overall, real quick, I'm a basic. When you see these colors here, you could take this color, put it in the shrimp. This color, put it in this one. This color, put it in this one. So on and so forth. This is typically the colors that I prefer to use to throw to these fish for the very simple fact, like I just said a minute ago, I can see it, you can see it, the fish can see it, it makes everything better. So there's your lure color selection, and again this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh, and I want to wish everybody a great day. Thank you.